So now that we know what eigenvectors and eigenvalues are, the natural question to ask is, given a linear transformation t, how do I find its eigenvalues lambda and its eigenvectors? So the answer to this is, let's look at the definition of eigenvectors. So if I have an eigenvector v1 of t, this means that t of v1 is some scalar times v1. If you rearrange terms, we can see that t of v1 minus lambda v1 is the zero vector. If you factor out the constant factor of v1, we get t minus lambda identity of v1 equals to zero vector. So what does this mean? If we recall a definition of the null space of a matrix, we can say that v1 is part of or in the null space of t minus lambda i. And remember that eigenvectors of a transformation of a matrix are never zero or never the zero vectors. So this means that t minus lambda i has a non-trivial uh, null space, which means that this matrix is singular. Now, what can we say about singular matrices? We know that the determinant of this matrix is zero. So we know this because this is singular. So this is an important um, fact that we, we are going to use to allow us to find the eigenvalues lambda of this transformation t. So let's illustrate this with an example. Let's, let us define a transformation t which is represented by the matrix 1 minus 1. 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 1, minus 1, 1. Okay, so it's a matrix of minus 1s with 1s on the diagonal, and a 1 here. So t minus lambda i is going to look like this. 1 minus lambda, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1 minus lambda, minus 1. So basically, we are, minus, we are adding a minus lambda term along the diagonal. So what this means is that in order to find the eigenvalues lambda of t, we want to find all values lambda which makes this matrix here singular. So if we express or if we write out the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix, we find that the determinant of t minus lambda i is equals to expanding it along um, the first column. We have 1 minus lambda times the determinant of 1 minus lambda minus 1 minus 1, 1 minus lambda minus minus 1 times the determinant of minus 1 1 minus 1, 1 minus lambda, and so on. So, we, we now know how to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So if we write out the whole determinant in its entire expanded form and we factorize it, we find that this nicely factorizes out into a form that looks something like this. And the eigen, <coughs> sorry, the eigenvalue, la eigenvalues lambda of t are precisely the values of lambda which bring this polynomial to zero. So this equation or this polynomial is known as the characteristic equation or characteristic polynomial of the matrix or the transformation t. So this is called the characteristic polynomial. So now that we know the characteristic polynomial, it's easy to see what the eigenvalues of t are. So the eigenvalues of t here are 2 and minus 1. So once we know the eigenvalues lambda of t, we can proceed to find eigen <coughs> sorry, we can proceed to find the eigenvalues or sorry, eigenvectors corresponding to these eigenvalues. So let's um, do this example 
finding the eigenvectors for the eigenvalue lambda equals minus 1. So how we do that is we let t minus lambda i, we find t minus lambda i for lambda equals minus 1. So we call that t minus lambda i is 1 minus lambda, which is minus minus 1 is 2, 2 minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, and minus 1, minus 1, 2. So instantly we, oh sorry, this should be a minus 1. So instantly we see that each row here sums to, rather if we sum all the entries in this row, we get zeros. And we note that any, if we have eigenvector or v1 of t, this matrix brings v1 to 0. Because if we stated earlier, t minus lambda i times the eigenvector equals to the 0 vector. So we should be able to see quite clearly that 1, 1, 1, for example, so this shouldn't be an equals. We should be able to see that 1, 1, 1, for example, gives us a 0 vector. So what this means is that the vector 1, 1, 1 is an eigenvector of, sorry, an eigenvector of t with eigenvalue minus 1. And so any scalar times 1, 1, 1 is also going to be an eigenvector of t with eigenvalue minus 1. So this is how you find eigenvectors and eigenvalues of t for any linear transformation or matrix with the characteristic equation.